morning. Just a quick look at uh, the view from Blackfriars Station. We're not going to be staying here, I'm going to be walking in the opposite direction in fact. But uh, it's worth a look, always this view. St Paul's there. And here on Blackfriars Bridge, the statue of Queen Victoria. Because uh, we always make statues to our great psychopaths and sociopaths and what have you, so there she is. Let's look at the view from the ridge, shall we? morning, a nice view. We're going to be walking down the right hand bank all along there basically. That's the Victoria Embankment. You see they're building a new dock here on the riverside for the uh, little boats and stuff. See in the distance the London Eye over there? A little bit beyond that is Parliament. We might make it there, I don't know. That big building up ahead is the Unilever headquarters. Unilever is a company like Johnson & Johnson and stuff do sort of bleaches and toilet cleaners and lots of other stuff actually. <laughs> the building has a bit of a, I don't know, Babylonian feel to it. But we are going to be walking along beside it. So I just had to stop and show this because somebody has uh, added a glass of wine to this little statue here of the it's called Taxi. J. C. Wood Johnson Jr. And why not? Okay, we got past all the works and here we are at the riverside. Going to walk along. Have a look at these fishy lamp posts we go. They have them all along. And we also have camel benches. If you look at the, the arms of the bench there, See, they are uh, designed like little camels. Not all of them, some are sphinxes. We'll see them later on, I guess, if I remember. Oops. Trying to keep the camera level. I'm using the stabiliser, but I don't know uh, how well it works yet. Seems to be alright, doesn't it?
There's plenty to see along here anyway. If we just look across the road. Instantly we have this decorated city lamppost. Just here. They make it nice, don't they? Across the road, there's some gardens for the lawyers. That's the Temple District, or part of it. And they have their own private gardens. So they can sit in them and contemplate how to sue you. of London bus shelter. It's a bit windy, I don't know if the mic's picking it up, it probably is. have here a kind of a TARDIS, an old police phone box, no longer in use. Uh, there they are. Let's yeah, we have someone sleeping on the bench here. Usual London telephone box. A bit bright in the sunshine that way, but there it is. A little memorial. See it, it's all black, but dedicated to the memory of the officers and men of the British Navy who lost their lives serving in submarines 1914 to 18 and 1945. And the little statues on either end dedicated to truth and justice. I don't know if we can read them really, but it's the names of all the submarines. At least they did mention the people as well. But anyway. Coming up to one of the city dragons. The city is a, a district of London, like a borough, um, with its own private government independent from the uh, from Parliament, <laughs> the Government of England. So when you pass these dragons, you are entering the city. The, the City of London is actually governed by the companies, the corporations that, that work in it, in fact. And people who live in the city can vote, but not many people live in the city. They work here. This is a little memorial, or, well actually it's just, it's hardly possible to read it in this light, actually. Is it closer? Maybe the camera will adjust. There we go in commemoration of the 25th anniversary of the accession of His Majesty King George V. And they've named this bit of King's Reach after him. I mean, you know, why not? It seems very strange to me that we name things after 
kings and queens and stuff. But anyway. Across the road there is the entrance to Temple Gardens, which I did in another video. But we didn't come across this side of the road. And there is a lot to see on this side of the road. We have here the HQS Wellington. Headquarters ship, it stands for HQS. They have a little exhibition on Sundays and Mondays up until November. Starts at 11 a.m. though, so I'm not too early for that. The exhibition is about um, the Mermanx convoys and submarines and all that that went on during the 1940s. <clears throat> And here there's another little statue thingy, well, sculpture, I suppose. To W.T. Stead. This memorial to a journalist of wide renown was erected near the spot where he worked for more than 30 years by journalists of many lands in recognition of his brilliant gifts, fervent spirit and untiring devotion to the service of his fellow men. A little statues here representing fortitude, and sympathy. And somebody's put a rose on one. So they look after these things a bit, don't they? Which is nice. <clears throat> the, the front, the bow of the HQS Wellington. And you can see Big Ben in the distance. Scaffolding around it, because the bells are off, it's being refurbished. We're only going to hear the bells on special occasions like New Year's Eve and things like that. Now across the river there, you can see the South Bank complex. That's the National Theatre. There's more of it further on, which we'll be able to see. Um, the National Theatre's roughly in the middle of the picture there. I don't know if we can see it with the sunshine blazing into the camera here, but there's ITV studio, Good Morning Studios there. And the bridge up ahead is Waterloo Bridge. You'll have noticed barriers on Blackfriars Bridge. Uh, because of certain incidents lately, they've, they've blocked off the traffic from the pavement. And here's a Sphinx chair. Windy, I don't know what I can do about that. Really nothing. We've got a hurricane something coming up into the Atlantic. It won't it'll only be a storm by the time it gets here. Ophelia, I think it's called. It's actually gonna pass up past the west coast of England. It's going to hit Ireland as a storm. Temple Pier. There's lots of private boats which are restaurants along here. Here's one. Wilfred. What did I tell you about British weather? Sunny in the morning, 
clouding over and getting windy and stormy later on. Yeah, it does that all the time. <clears throat> now across the road from here, by the way, you can hardly see him, the statue of Isambard Kingdom Brunel, up in the trees. And that building is Somerset House, which is an art gallery. Used to hold the register of births and deaths in this country, but they've decentralised. <clears throat> the weather is changing rapidly here. It's clouded over already. I was hoping to get out and get this done before it all closed in, but we'll see. <laughs> Lifeboat Institution's lifeboat station on the Thames. It's located in this sort of corner of the river here because that's where the bodies tend to end up. Um, they bought it from the government. It used to be a police station. They bought it for a pound and saved over 100 lives in the first five years. So it's pretty worth it. Rescued over 380 people in the same five years. Jet-powered lifeboat. I can't remember the name, Hurley Burley or something like that. Jet-powered because obviously it's faster and actually more manoeuvrable. The RNLI has lifeboats, lifeboat stations all around the country, on the coast usually. and peaceful for us. And up on that building there, just at the top of the picture, you can see that flag, three lions. I think it's a royal standard of some sort. Maybe somebody knows, can tell me. station here because you can rent bikes for quite a bit of money. Can't remember the price. Something like £2.50 per half hour or £3.50, something like that. They claim the first half hour is free but as you have to pay a deposit it isn't. <laughs> going on with all the copters this morning. Is something up? Hopefully not. Over the river there. The Royal Festival Hall. Built for the Festival of Britain in the 1950s. It's a concert hall. To the left of it in the picture is the Queen Elizabeth Hall. Just by Waterloo Bridge there. And across the road, just about seeing behind the traffic lights, is the statue of Michael Faraday at the Institute of Engineering and Technology. And here we have another statue to a writer, or statue sculpture, I suppose, whatever it is, memorial. Walter Besant, novelist. Historian of London, Secretary of the Palestine Exploration Fund, originator of the People's Palace and founder of the Society of Authors. This monument is erected by his grateful brethren in literature. 
Born 14th of August 1836, died 9th of June 1901. Well, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the 8 in 1836 is actually an ampersand. I don't know if it's a typo. It's down at the bottom there. I don't know if it's a typo. Uh, it would be ironic if there was a typo in a, in a writer's uh, memorial, wouldn't it? But... Ooh, a little red telephone box here. It's a bit the worst for wear. I can see the doors missing. But it works, I guess, because there's a telephone in it. Minimum fee 60p. All right. Exercise my arms because holding this camera up with a stabilizer is tough, I can tell you. <laughs> I suppose this is exercise for my arms. We'll see how well it does because it's it's hard holding the stabilizer still. <laughs> as long as the camera stays steady, I guess that's the main thing. This is Savoy Pier because Right opposite, you can just about see the entrance, is the Savoy Hotel. That is Victoria Embankment Gardens there, which I did a video about a while ago. Another one of those fishy lampposts. Here we have um, another little statue. This one to Mr. Plimsoll, who didn't invent those shoes that tennis people wear, but instead he invented the little white line that goes on the side of ships to tell them how low they're sitting in the water. So the, the inventor of white line, <laughs> how bizarre, eh? <laughs> Whitehall Gardens now. We have the Ministry of Defence up there. And we'll cross back over to the river. Lights are changing, gotta wait for the cars to go. Let me see out one. There's a little mini on the boat there. Advertising. Tattersall Castle is another restaurant. Boat.
big bend up ahead. Kind of hoping the battery lasts, but we'll see. Obviously we've got uh, the London Eye, which is a weird name for it, but uh, there it is. Cost a fortune to go up on it. Therefore I have not done so. Now, this is a an RAF memorial, but we can't really see it on the camera. Or can we? Oops. There we go. Eagle at the top. line it up, there we go. That building to the right of the London Eye is the County Hall, or used to be County Hall, I suppose it's still called that. County Hall has moved to sort of a blob further down the river. Uh, we can see the memorial from here actually. Ahead is Westminster Bridge. Across the road. New Scotland Yard. Bit of a nondescript building, but that rotating sign is uh, iconic, I suppose. Actually, the building isn't bad when you look at it. It's up the top. It's, a bit, it's quite nice. And here we have another Royal Air Force Fighter Command Memorial. This is a, an amazing memorial. I showed it in my other video that I've mentioned several times. But since we're here, have a look. Stuff on the other side as well. Might as well have a look. <clears throat> Even at this time of the morning, there's tourists taking pickies. <laughs> Back up to Big Ben. 
and they're done. Alright. Telephone boxes. That modernish building is Westminster Tube Station and shops and offices. Ben, Queen Elizabeth Tower as they want to call it these days, because everything's royal for some reason. Under refurbishment, so no bells for a couple of years, I think. And just there, Westminster Bridge. Where well, again they put barriers up on all the main bridges now to separate traffic from pedestrians. But I guess that's it for today. I'm going to go off and seek some breakfast. And I hope you've enjoyed this little walk. Bye for now.